All right, back with uh, this my Sony Blu-ray player that I just picked up. Here is that model number right there. The Sony Bravo Delta Papa Dash Sierra One Seven Zero Zero Blu-ray player. And then we're going to be testing out the streaming. Uh, it's got the Ethernet jack on it, so we're going to test this out. Its response, you know, clarity, and uh, its ability to keep up see if there's any kind of herky jerky stuff going on all right i'm gonna try to be as transparent and, and as, as honest as possible for uh the uh tech geeks out there all right so what i'm doing here coming out the uh, ethernet jack and that cable is 100 feet long it's a cat six 100 foot long cable that goes all the way upstairs up into my living room into my uh you know my my comcast box all right, so 100 foot Cat6 cable come in. All right, and I have YouTube. I have the YouTube app on here. Okay, so I'm signed in, and I can use a uh, video gate. I posted a few videos ago of uh, Deer Slayer down there in Florida, and myself. I'm, I'm not gonna play the whole thing. We're just gonna examine how well this uh, keeps up. You, you can go back to that video, and then uh, watch the difference. You know, see the differences. But uh, keep in mind too, this is a yellow wall down here. So the colors look a little funky, that's why. All right. And for the audio, I'm coming out of the little Paracat. And I have a long extension going to my Bagani M83. That sits right over there. So you're going to be hearing that. Uh, anything else? Oh, okay. And the picture size. Now this equates to, well, I wrote it down here, 125 inch screen. So they measure these from diagonally. So that's 125 inches. Okay, and that uh, turns out to be nine feet this way and five feet two inches high. All right, the projector from the wall to the lens is 12 feet three inches, and the table here sits 42 and a half inches high, and that's from the floor to dead center of the lens of the uh, of the paracat. Just for anybody who wants to know, and I've, I've seen some of these videos, nobody talks about the distances and, and heights and everything, so there it is. All right, so I'll get this going here. I'll turn out this light, and for, okay, for size <laughs> for size reference, that TV right there, that is a 23 inch TV, and uh, see, oh, my dehumidifier is going to be in the, in, in, the, in the picture there. But I wear size 12 as a size 12 shoe. All right, just to give you some kind of reference of size. All right, I think that's all you guys need to know. All the text, well, not text specs, but uh, all the. Uh, you know, pertinent information for this test. All right, I'm going to kill that light, and then we'll start that video, and I'll show certain clips of it. Like I said, not the whole thing. And I'll zoom in during the video, too, so you can see the screen, you know, see the resolution there. And also, remember, keep in mind, it's a yellow yellow wall, so. <laughs> All right, indoor test. We're testing the streaming of uh, the Sony, Sony Blu-ray player. All right, we back. Roger 64 and Smoky Hill sounded real good down here on the north side of Lake Okeechobee. There right away. Deer Slayer sent pops. How about that Deer Slayer out there? How about Deer Slayer KP68 out here in Pittsburgh trying to wave away break? Hey, what's going on up there on uh, KP68? I'm always watching your uh, gates on there, no doubt. How are you doing up there this weekend? Go ahead. Oh, hanging in, man. I was hanging in, fixing my day off, and uh, so I've been doing a raining all day and no DX. I just turned this thing on, been waiting, and nothing, and all of a sudden, there you are. Speaking of the gates, I'm running one right now, and uh, you're on uh, top shelf, dear sir, top shelf. I'll post this up in a little bit, uh, but, but the, at the beginning of this gate, I was pointed west, and I swung a beam down your way, so now you're really booming in here, dear slayer. Man, I don't know what you're talking on, but it, uh, it's on top shelf up here. You'll see the gate, man. People ask me, oh, is that radio modified? I'm like, no, no, it's not modified. It's just the audio I'm putting in through the front. You know, it's just, uh, heck, I can hook this audio up. I ran it on Connexes and Cobra 29s and Strikers, and it, and it sounds good on all of them. You know, you get a little different sound. I just like to receive on these things, man. On oh, my 7300, the 718, my Kenwood 440, I just like to receive on them, but, I mean, it's not a fancy, uh, you know, I think, I forget what you're running, and you're not running the Flex, I think you're running that other one, that, uh, what the heck's that called, but anyway, uh, it's not that fancy, but it, it's, the receive is so much better than okay, any kind so of, uh, Deer Slayer, that, uh, superb audio and 4K video, you'll see it there, buddy. Oh, awesome. 
awesome. I'll check it out for sure. Now you're saying between 20 and 35. I mean, you're you're booming in down here, no doubt. And uh, I think you uh, had done a comparison video. I don't know. I watched so many of them, I can't remember. But then you do a comparison video on, on mics, like the uh, the RE20 versus the 58, and, and then you do one of those every. Oh. In fact, I ran into a couple problems um, up here with that, but uh, this thing's been solved. But uh, it's so even across the whole audio spectrum. Um, it's very, very flat. It's what you want in a microphone. It's a very, very uh, easy EQ. I'm sorry, my, my phone is ringing in the background. I'm not going to hear it. But uh, yeah, I did that comparison, and uh, hands down, the RA20 is just, uh, it's just an incredible microphone. Yeah, that's what I'm talking on. That's what I ended up getting, man. Uh after watching a lot of those videos, I mean, I was running at first, I had, my first microphones I was running was some of those cheap, uh, the BM800 condenser mics, you know, you can get them on Amazon for like 25 bucks. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, I had them sounding good, but my problem was trying to keep background noise out, because it's like running a power mic, you know, with a condenser mic, so I had issues with that. And then I set this thing up to run the SM58, which did a great job, as long as you didn't turn your head or move to the side at all and you know how it drops way down uh the re20s not so so uh direct i mean it is directional but not so much like that you can still kind of get off to the side a little bit but anyway uh i finally broke down and got one man i was i was trying to find one audio but uh so i got cables going it looks like a nightmare in here the cables are going everywhere but it but it all works there Tim uh, it's funny. <laughs> As you're telling me uh, about that, I'm looking around my shop right now. I, I was doing uh, some experimenting this morning. And yeah, it looks like, uh, what do you call them, a trapeze artist? Like a, like a, a crazy trap, the circus trapeze with little wires hanging down everywhere. But <laughs> hey, it works. Like you said, who cares, man? Right now, I can't see what your shop looks like. And uh, the only thing I hear is that great audio. But uh, hey, here's like I Well, I appreciate it. KP68, no doubt, man. Have a great day. Uh a great dinner that you're going to be preparing and enjoy your Mother's Day weekend around your household, man. And I'll definitely check it out. And I'll, I'll, I'll just post it. I don't know if I can attach a link, but if I can't, I'll just put in my, uh, what my page is. It's real simple. It's just my handle and then a number. So, uh, anyway, I will definitely do that. I appreciate it, buddy. Have a great weekend. Catch you next time. Take care. Deer Slayer, Lake Okeechobee, Florida. Back out of the way. All right. So there you have it. That was a little streaming test. See how well the uh, Sony... Uh, Blu-ray player keeps up, and I thought it did quite well. I've tried it out with other uh, like 4K videos, and yeah, it's, it's it's awesome. So there you go. Anybody wanting to know or curious about how this thing streams with a 100 foot Cat6 cable with the uh, projector? There it is. Hope I uh, you know answer somebody's question out there when it comes to this stuff. You know me. I I am the experimenter. With, uh, you know, RF audio and video. I, I love this stuff. You can get enough of it. So, hope you enjoyed that uh, test experiment. I'll get on out of here. KP68 out here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Free and clear.